Awesome, Tina. The tribe has spoken. I know that you were really upset about me falling asleep that day for some reason. Hello. Welcome back. We are back with the show we've all been waiting <laughs> what i've been waiting for <laughs> the real housewives of salt lake city kicked off with such a bang such a good like, i don't episode, i was not dude. expecting that oh my gosh i was blown away i was not expecting that at all i was i don't know so what impressed. i was expecting but like i it was it exceeded I all agree. of my expectations totally the Lisa Barlowness of it all was she. W- so I know. High. It was since so when good. did she like become like Miss? She was the it girl. She was. She the was it. the main character. She was the main character. I feel like it's been Heather. It, yeah, it was Lisa Barlow yeah. on episode one. Which maybe yeah, Heather maybe because it's not always the best to be the main. You're no. always in all the drama, so maybe Heather's like yeah, but taking a backseat. Mm-hmm. But so, yeah, we love. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's Lisa Barlow's <laughs> voice. I love her so much. I um, feel like I was surprised that it opened just right out the gate with like, yeah. I'm throwing a party. Yeah. And it literally yep. started at Lisa's Bezos party. Mm-hmm. So this must have been, this was filmed this year in February. Mm-hmm. And then kind of the intro of it all is like, the way they preface the season is there's a lot of, distrust amongst the women because yeah. of last season with yes. Monica Garcia. Yeah. Cuz like there was this kind of illusion of camaraderie. Yeah. But but there's cracks. Yeah. There's cracks around. So and as someone I think I'm a pretty loyal lover of all the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, which uh-huh. isn't common when dealing with fran- like Real True. Housewives franchises. I do I could I could say there's a piece of Every one of them. That, yeah. yeah. I've been a diehard fan of Whitney's since the beginning. This is Whitney's downfall this, this yeah, season. Yeah, I kind of got that too. By the end of this episode, I was like, Whitney, shut up. I was you so know, fed up with the Whitney. The thing about Whitney, though, is I've noticed she's not like a good arguer. She's not a good no, she's fighter. she's so bad at it. So I feel like she doesn't do well in no. confrontation. And sometimes I'm like, oh, Whitney, like you're, shut up. like you're saying the wrong, like... Even if I'm on your side, yeah. or for, you're you're not doing well in this fight. Not at all. She doesn't fight well. So the end of the episode is the big eruption of the fight. But I guess we could talk about the lead up there. Yeah. So it is starting. <laughs> at, I just love the way Bravo edits their shows too. It's starting at Lisa's Bezos party, and then it's like it as keeps, each woman comes in, it's like cut to like a few back, days yeah. ago, and like interactions, like inviting to the party. I was like, ooh, and I like, like ah, this. I, I love this. Love the editing. Yeah. I thought it was so iconic when Mary and Angie showed up together. I was so happy. I was like, oh. yeah, that's a pair I would not no. have put together. I was like, ooh, I gotta know more about this. I love the cut to the reunion. <laughs> Where it was literally just Angie like telling Mary like you have, you have lipstick on your teeth and then like five seconds later and he's like Mary who do you like she's like I like it, it. I like this Angie girl <laughs> Mary oh my Mary god is, like so face value she is no no depth nothing like she drives me crazy but like but like in a way that I can't stop watching her I could not be friends with her whatsoever no. but like watching her it's like something you've never seen before yeah I think she's. The one I love to watch the most. Yeah, I would by, agree. Like, yeah. Almost by far. She's the one I love to watch the most, but she's the one that would scare me most in real life. Yeah, like I honestly don't even know if I would approach her. I know. Because she would destroy us. She, yeah. She her would say something first, very mean. Her first impressions are <laughs> probably the harshest I've ever seen, ever seen in my life. <laughs> she is mean. She is so mean. So... If you're a loyal listener of the show and you're like, I've never watched Real Housewives of Salt Lake, and you're like, oh, no, 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 you need to watch it for Mary alone. Yeah. Because Mary is married to her step grandfather. You heard that right. Grandfather. Grandfather. And she is just the harshest person ever. This woman comes up to her on this first episode and just says, oh my gosh, I love your costume. And Mary's like, <gasps> This is I don't wear costumes, honey. <laughs> she's like, this is couture. This is couture. This is fashion. And then she's like, I didn't grow up poor. poor. And then the other girl's like, 
sometimes I'd have to put like bread in my purse yeah. to like eat, and she's like, "I'm that's disgusting." And Mary's she is just so just mean. not. Yeah, it's like if you, if you are off to like if you start off a little bad. off it's downhill it's from there and bad. she will criticize everything you say so you do bad. you wear if she doesn't like you from the start i just love her talking heads too where she's like who is this girl <laughs> who is who is this why do i care about, about her? the purse thing she was like she was like she's like the she had to be putting bread in her purse like recently yeah. because you don't carry a purse as a little girl and i'm like mary what what logic is that She's not doing that as an adult. It was a childhood memory. <laughs> I just, I love her so, so much. And I love when she compliments Heather. And then it goes back. Heather's like, Mary has been so mean to me this whole time. And then it goes back to like every mean thing she's ever said about Heather. And it's crazy. And she's like, I guess the only thing I had to do to get Mary to like me was to lose weight. <laughs> Mary like sees Heather. She's like, you look like, fit. You like, look skinny. Yeah, she's like, Double <laughs> One of them, I, I so just, there was funny. one thing she, Heather wore in another season and she had this necklace on <laughs> and Mary goes, Mary goes, Heather, what's with the necklace? And then Heather's like, oh, I liked it and blah, blah, blah. And she's like, no, it's not a thing. And I'm like, if someone did that to me in public, I would, I think I would leave. Like, I would be so offended. <laughs> I think my favorite Mary line ever is when she's looking out of the window at all the women, she's like, "Ah, oh, Heather, she looks so inbred." And then she said that to her face. Yeah, too. and then it's like the next season. Yeah, and Heather's like sitting down with Mary, and she's like, "Mary, do you really think I look inbred?" And Mary's like, she, "Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, I do." She doubles down on it. And I mean, she does. I love Mary. She does own up to it. She's, she does. She doesn't like say, "Oh no, I didn't say that." She's like, "Yes, yeah. I do think you look inbred." Yeah. To her face, and it's so harsh. So so good. Um, and then the whole. I don't know. Meredith always kind of just rides a mid yeah. line for me. Sometimes she really annoys me. Yeah. And so part of the big conflict this episode <laughs> was the bath line. Oh, my Whitney, gosh. Or Meredith announced that she was coming out with a bath line because she loves baths. Yeah. And it's then, like she's gatekeeping the whole, like, baths are hers. I'm like, yeah, Meredith, I, you're not the only person in the world that takes no. baths. I feel like I, too, because Whitney has a skin line, Yeah, it's not that far of a leap for her to do bath no, bombs. Not and at like all. that. So I think if she had never done anything in and that And Whitney world, said it. I think she needed to say this with more, like, mm, she had bath bombs yeah. previously, but Meredith didn't know. Mm -hmm. So she's like, it's not that I just came out with these. It's like yeah. just that just now you're, you know you about know them. You know about it. And I'm like, Meredith, you don't know anything about this. You're no. only doing it because... People associate yeah. you with a bath. Yeah. So I'm like, don't get all hot and bothered, man. Yeah, she's all pissed yeah. off about it. Hey, yeah. I and don't thinks know. that it's a personal attack. And, it's and I'm not. like, she's literally just growing her yeah. her line. Whenever they're like, this is a personal attack, unless it actually is, I'm like, you guys are so dumb. Mm -mm. But um getting more to I feel like the bulk of the fight. Is all about <laughs> Whitney because Whitney went on the Nick Vile podcast. Yes. I just think you and I disagree on this. Mm -hmm. I like his podcast. And I just like have to be okay with that. Yeah. Like we disagree. And it's mm -hmm. not like you're personally attacking me. It's not even a though we disagree. Attack. It's not a personal I, like, attack. Can't like I don't like him because I do think like, look, I get it. He's probably just trying to promote his podcast. Yeah. But he gets people on there, drop some like bombs to stir up stuff, and then just like, okay. And they so, do like, it to themselves, just, though. I know. They're the ones who say it. He just, like, dangles he the... He just capitalizes He just, on like, it. wants the the tea. Yeah. And he'll ask, like, straight-up questions. Yeah. I like... I like, like <laughs> I like the fact that, like, he'll ask the question that, like, you know, and, like, make them give an answer. Yeah. Because sometimes with, like, people like Tom Sandoval, they hide behind, you know, whatever. Yeah. And then getting him on the Nick Vile podcast and having him completely... Look ridiculous. Yeah, that's is true. Like, I like I like that. I mean, I wouldn't say I'm a diehard Nick Vile fan, but Fair. I do like his podcast. I okay. think it's like. Do you listen to it? No. Okay. I mean, I the clips. <laughs> the clips. <laughs> <laughs> the clips um, that pertain to me. Yeah. So Whitney went on his show uh -huh. and was said, Lisa Barlow is a terrible person, and she will never own up to anything Did she, she say does. That? Yeah. 
Oh, I'm, like, pretty positive she said, like, verbatim, like, Lisa's a terrible person. Like, Lisa will probably be the villain of this next season. I knew she said, I don't, I'm shocked if she really said she's a terrible person. Because I thought it was, like, Nick asked a question that was, like, pertaining yeah. to her being the villain. And Whitney's like, well, yeah, she kind of is the villain. But I don't, yeah, I, I didn't listen to the, I should have listened to the clip. You know. Well, it's on the show. Yeah. Yeah, the part that um, I'm trying to find it, but but like the thing is like because then Whitney was like the the interview was an hour plus and it was like a tiny snippet, so I kind of do get where she's coming from. Where like the whole podcast wasn't about talking crap about Lisa Barlow, but if I was oh, Lisa, I, know. I would be I would be mad. I'd be pissed. I'd be mad too. But it's not like she went and it completely bashed her for an hour and a half. No, I would agree. Whitney on the Vile Files said Lisa isn't sincere in her apologies. She doesn't care about anything else other than being right. Lisa, Lisa's always been the villain. Yes. So that's what she said. Okay. Verbatim. And look, if you were going to say it, fine. Uh, mm -hmm. Like, yeah. you stand you gotta on that stand hill. Stand on it. You double down on it. Which she How, did. She yeah. said I wouldn't. I'm not going to change anything that I... Yeah, like I and that's stand fine. By, yeah. That wasn't my issue. I think where my issue is, and I think it's similar to what we said about Whitney in The Secret Lives of Mormon Wise, is uh -huh. you can't go out and say all these things yeah. about someone else, and then when they confront you, and then I, yeah. be like, well, these are my feelings. Yes, you can't, I agree. Okay, well I then, agree. You, yeah. can't, you can say, I don't feel as though the times you've apologized to me, mm -hmm. it's been mm -hmm. very sincere. Yeah. That you can say. But if you just say, Lisa's never sincere in her apologies, that's my feelings. No, yeah. like, it that's was, crap. It was too broad. Yeah, if she's going to if she's gonna do go the feeling route, which yeah. we, wi with Whitney, she always, always does, does. That, again, yeah, that is fine. But you have to phrase it in a way that's, like, it's a person, like, I feel yeah. like... Her apology to me, not a generalization of yeah. her apologies are never sincere. Um, and to say she's always the villain, come on, no, Whitney. No, she has not. No, she hasn't been. She hasn't always been the villain. I think, too, like, if you're going to go on a podcast, mm -hmm. publicly say that. Yeah. And you, like, don't anticipate that sort of backlash, yeah. like, you're delusional. The, yeah, the thing that I get annoyed at is, yeah, you go on the podcast, you say that, you know you said it, you yeah. stand by what you say, but then you show up to her party and, and is like, Lisa, do we have an issue? Yeah, we have an issue. What? Absolutely we do. And yeah. so then... I'm surprised I, that Lisa even invited her, I to be honest. I was But I'm so glad she did yeah. because the fight yeah. was so good. And so then I... If I were Lisa, granted, she might have done this, Whitney, but I'd be like, why didn't you call me up and tell me that you had yeah. these issues with me? Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if Whitney has tried to convey them. But once again, we said at the beginning, Whitney's are not a great arguer. Mm -mm. So I think Whitney, if she tried to ever say anything to Lisa, yeah. like cowered away after mm -hmm. Lisa did any sort of pushback or like didn't phrase it right. Yeah. But then also, and Lisa is a good arguer. Lisa so is. She is. <laughs> Whitney should have had at least the decency to yeah. tell Lisa before the podcast came out. Yes. Be like, hey, I said some stuff. Mm -hmm. Just want you to know beforehand so then you're not finding out about it while through the news yeah, like while media. everyone else is. Yeah, like that's where I would have been even mm -hmm. more upset if I was Lisa because yeah. they were best, best friends last season. Yeah. Until Whitney's friend died. Yeah. And then they had that huge blow up fight at the... At Lisa's party. <laughs> that was so bad. But I absolutely oh, yeah. loved when Whitney was like, I'm not a liar. Because Whitney, first of all, you can't say you're not a liar about saying your opinion about Lisa Barlow. Yeah. You can't be like, I'm not lying. Like, your whole thing is an opinion. So it's yeah. not factual. But when yeah. she's like, I'm not a liar. And then both Meredith, Heather, and Lisa all started speaking. I was like. Yeah. Everybody yes. kind of ganged up on her. That would be really, like, I relate to Whitney in the fact that, like, I'm not a great arguer. And if multiple people are coming at me, I'm not going to do well. <laughs> I'm not going to do well. Yeah. I don't think it was a planned gang up, though. Like, I don't think no, they went in she, there knowing it. And so, no, like, if you're going to yeah. say, like, I'm not a liar, but then you've lied to several people at the table, True. be ready for that. No, yeah. And again, so, I don't, yeah, I don't think it was they all got together and were like, we're going to bring down wow, Whitney. Whitney. But, <laughs> again, Whitney is not... She just like no. says the wrong thing. She so like, she's saying the wrong thing. Like not relevant. great things are not 
she's articulating it in the so wrong bad. way, and then everyone yeah. jumps. Then I love. So, that. I yeah. love. It was pretty that. intense. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and then and her her and Heather used to be pretty tight yeah. until the previous season too. I think Whitney, just like oh, this, is gonna sound harsh. She's on like that whole healing journey. Yeah. When that started, she became so self-absorbed and anyone uh-huh. who like yeah. did any sort of pushback, she's like, I need to put up boundaries because it's safe for me. And like, yeah. you're not supporting me on my journey. Like, that's not it, Whitney. Like, your yeah. friends are allowed to disagree with you and tell you yeah. when they do. And you yeah. have to be receptive to that. Yeah. Like, it can if you're get- going to put yourself in a bubble, don't mm-hmm. be surprised mm-hmm. when everyone stops being your friend. And it, yeah, it can get very easily it can get like victim mentality. It is. And it's tired. It's tired. I'm tired. Mm-hmm. I think so, the, I think the ladies are. I would agree. Yeah. I would be tired. I'd be like, are we still <laughs> still on this? We're still like being like wrapping Whitney in bubble wrap with how we speak to her. Yeah, no. Like, grow up, Whitney. You're an adult. Yeah. When Lisa threw the glass, I was like, I know Lisa was fired up. <laughs> Lisa was. I was off, like, dude. I go was like, off, oh, Lisa. Oh my goodness. Yeah. She go <laughs> and threw it yeah. to the wall. That was crazy. I yeah, it's shocking she invited her, but I guess yeah. they needed that the blow up for the show. I loved it. I absolutely yeah. loved it. I think well, Angie was stupid in telling Whitney anyway. Yeah. I know Lisa. <laughs> I just love people that just go straight to I the she's like, I told you and I told you. Who, who told who told her? And Who's both of them are like Heather's like I didn't. I didn't say and she's anything. Like, I said this. <laughs> it's just I love I love going straight to like the issue. I love it too, and I loved. <laughs> I love that Angie did own up for it, and yeah. he was like, "Yeah, it was probably yeah. me." Yeah, but I also love that Heather and Lisa seem to be having a friendship because they've never been friends. Yeah, and so I'm like, yes, yes, yes. I like Heather. I like those two. I like those Heather. two are my yeah. favorites yeah. for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Mary. But Mary's like its own entity. The new girls, Bronwyn and Brittany, are like fine. Bronwyn, yeah, I don't the know about. I'm excited. Yeah, Bronwyn's she's giving kind of chaotic energy. Yeah, the fact that she's married to like a guy who's like 30 years older than her does. And the fact that she out. was what the when she they like showed footage of her going to this lunch with Lisa or I think it was Lisa. Yeah, she was wearing those micro shorts. She was wearing these micro shorts and I'm like, oh wow. That's who's wearing the micro that shorts. That is what the micro sh- trend is. That's like, what's happening with it. Oh, I don't think I've ever yeah. seen it. Brittany yeah, it just feels messy. Who's Brittany? Brittany's the one where she was like married, got divorced, and now she's gotten back together and on and off again with her boyfriend so many times. The one who was like, I used yes. to put bread in my purse and Mary just yes. destroyed. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I'm like, oh yeah, oh. Bronwyn and Mary like I ate her up. Like, not, yeah. in not a good way. No. Like, they they were not impressed. Old and so. Not impressed with her. Yeah, gotcha. Okay, yeah. And the first episode really ends with Whitney storming out of the party. Mm-hmm. Middle fingers up. There was also <laughs> an issue with Angie and... Who did she bring the scroll to? <laughs> Meredith. Meredith. And I don't even remember. It was like she brought this whole list of things she wanted an yeah. apology for or something. My favorite part about it was <laughs> when she like did that. <laughs> but then it wasn't even her doing that. It was cutting to Mary being like, she bought all this paper. Yeah, yeah. She like came to my house. She's like, she committed. She hours doing it. And she's like, the girl has too much time. Yeah. And I was like, that's right. It's just so over the top, yeah. dramatic. I think part of me, sometimes it's hard with Real Housewives. What is like a genuine frustration and yeah. argument versus what's yeah. like, I got to stay relevant and uh-huh. push a storyline. Uh-huh. So with the Angie and Meredith thing, I was like, this is feeling yeah. needing a storyline. Mm-hmm. Same with Meredith approaching Whitney about the bath bombs yeah. to me. I was like, this feels forced. Yeah, definitely so, the main issue, I think, for now and yeah. the ongoing is going to be Lisa and Whitney. Mm-hmm. So we'll see if how the other ones, if they fizz out or not. Yeah. The episode I'm for sure most excited about is the eight Lisa Barlows where they all dress <laughs> up like Lisa Barlow. That, I'm, She's like, take that take <laughs> way out of, off your head. I love her. I just love her so uh, much. And the video of her singing Fortnite. Oh, my God. On TikTok is maybe the best thing that's ever happened to me. But the fact that. She sings fourth night instead of saying Fortnite because she doesn't know the lyrics is even better. And I had posted because 
I love. Yeah, I think my biggest to, accomplishment. You have to it, let the fans is know. getting like these D and C list celebrities mm-hmm. to interact with me. Yeah, I just get so the validation excited. you get I'm from like, that is like. And so I had posted on our story, just being like. So excited that Lisa Barlow is back on my screen. I've missed her for so like for so long or something along those lines. And she liked it and yeah. then slid up and sent us hearts. And I was like, yes. Lisa, Lisa. Amazing. I love you, Lisa Barlow. They could never make me hate you. No. <laughs> they I could never. No, I love Lisa. I love her. Yeah. <laughs> so it's really the first episode. We'll definitely keep everyone yeah. up to date on. Oh, we will. I feel Salt like Lake this is going to be, yeah. A good season. If you like Secret Lives of Mormon Wives, this is better. This, this is better, yeah. That's what I've been telling everyone. I'm like, yeah. if you liked that, you'll like you'll this one more. You'll love this. So yeah. definitely watch it. There's mm-hmm. only four seasons. They've just started the yeah, fifth. Yeah, it's not that big of it's a not commitment. No. And they're juicy seasons. We're talking FBI. Arrest. Arrest. Is Black it eyes. Altercations. <laughs> like, we're talking juicy. Broad. <laughs> I love it, but. All right. Yeah. That's it. Keep you updated next week. Tune in next week. Bye.